All right, uh, let's look at today. I think today's just indecision. When we look at the big picture of things, do we need a little bit of rest from this 7.74 uh, rip to the upside? Maybe, uh, nothing crazy. If we look at kind of a fib retracement from this level, uh, we can see that um, we're right about it there. So uh, right about there for the 24 to 38 is around here uh, at 182. So we'll, we'll check and see how that one works out and uh, how it goes from there. But again, this is the indecision candle on the weekly. We can see that uh, maybe we do for a little bit of pullback. We're in the middle of this channel that we've talked about. So you've seen that they've come, they've come, they've come, they've come, they've come down. And uh, we're right at the top. So maybe we could get some type of pullback, but not really sure. Uh, again, if it breaks out above here, um, this 187.15, we can see back to the upside. If it breaks below uh, this 130, excuse me, 183.75, you could definitely see some more. Uh, pull back but again this is for the nimble 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 because it's indecision candle for today so just be very very aware of that uh qqq we see we have it coming testing this prior swing point right here so we want to see if that can hold if it can hold and get it back above here and you know i'm a breakout trader so if it gets back above 90 we're looking good to go if it breaks that level we could definitely see some more uh retracement as well so you want to keep those things in mind. The Russell, uh, Russell's at the bottom of this channel, uh, which would be actually nice if it could break above because it pretty much got up. It, this could be the flag if you want to draw it out. Uh, you know, it could be the flag uh, if you draw it out from here. Wow, this is really <laughs> sloppy, but uh, you kind of get the picture that if you have the flag coming from here uh, to the upside, if it breaks above here or even above this, uh, above this uh, 1188 area, then that could be some more long time. But uh, again, looking at the, the big picture, we're still at the bottom of this channel. So we wanna see if we can continue up uh, using that weekly time frame. Uh, the diamond, the diamond we have, again, we broke out above uh, this shoulder. So I should actually take this stuff off because it was actually broken and closed above. But um, we're right at another indecision point. If you can look at this price action, you look at it from, let's say, a uh, intraday time frame as well. You could just see that pretty much it opened right here and pretty much closed right there too. Good action for some intraday plays if that's what your thing is. But uh, regarding a trend, not here right now. And if the trend is not here, we don't play because that's when you could get eaten alive. But there was some good names that I was kind of looking at. So I just wanted to share those as well. We had... Um, General Dynamics, that looked great. HP uh, looked great. That's actually a green candle. Uh, Tiffany um, looks like it could be just pulling back, but we want to see, keep this one on your watch list as well. SanDisk, that one looked uh, good. I uh, wish it could have closed a little bit stronger, but above this high would definitely be something to be considered at 75.84 above that high. You have Win. Um, this candle again is green. Um, you have uh, MYL. That one, this looks to just be flagging. If it could get above this uh, 80, uh, excuse me, 5707, that one is a good look as well. And, uh, you know, just kind of have the, let's see what uh, Goldman Sachs, not looking too good. Facebook still needs to give me something. I'm not just buying a dip uh, blindly on that. Uh, Tesla looks awesome to the upside. If you can get above tomorrow's high, that one looks good. Uh, Solar City, again, hasn't even broken this previous uh, resistance. Hit once, twice, well, Create a pivot, pop it once, and then broke above. So if it's coming back, if it gets above, if you're really aggressive, if it gets above this 8392 area, you could definitely get into the long side. So those are some things to keep in consideration. Uh, Biogen, that one's we're still waiting on. Um, Apple, Apple again didn't look that good in the morning, but still it's not really giving that much of a trend, quite honestly. But you still have the lower highs in place. Uh, over here so that's something to be considerate about if it breaks below this area this 15 uh, 15 15 area that's something to be careful of but if you look you can see like a cup and handle type of thing so if it breaks above that 575 area that could be something to look good for so keep those things in mind remember indecision doesn't mean you want to trade the underlying trend so uh, take care and hopefully add those to your watch list that might be something to be profitable tomorrow take care